Hey guys, it's Ninkle Dark here, and today I have a special request. I was talking to someone in another modding channel, and they had a question about how to add custom items to Atlas loot. And that's actually something I've been doing a lot of recently. I went ahead and restored the old Nax Ramis items, and I've also been adding some of my custom items here as well. So the process is fairly straightforward once you get started. And if all you're doing is just adding loot or changing loot to existing tables, then it's a lot simpler. So, so let's go ahead and get started. So in your Atlas loot add-on, you're going to have a number of different Lua tables. So for me, for example, if I wanted to add loot to one of the original WoW bosses, right? Ragnaros or something like that, then I would just go into add-ons, Atlas loot, original WoW, and then just original WoW. And you'll see that there's actually tables existing already for said items. So, so all you're really going to do is search for your boss. And the way that this works out is there are a total of 30 rows that you can use, 15 on each side. And so you have the order, the item number, you have the quality. So Q1 actually stands for white, Q3 is blue, and Q4 is epic, so on and so forth. You have the name of the item. Draconic for dummies. You have the type of item, which I actually cheat on this one. You have some other value, which I don't really remember what this is, and then the drop rate. So, so yeah, Draconic for dummies, right? White. It's unique. It's got 100% drop chance. Now, the way I do it is a little bit different, uh, just because I don't know all the codes. You can actually find them somewhere if you want to, but I just don't really want to spend time memorizing them. So, for example, I have here for my custom boss this ring, right? Band of the Scorched Dragon. This is row 5, right? And the item ID number, which is 60,099. This, this is just an icon, by the way. You just leave it blank if you want it to be the same icon as this ring. Then you would put the name of the ring and then the type of item. So in this case, it's ring. If you wanted to add a drop chance, you would just add blank quotes here, and then you would do your drop chance right here. So let me show you. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and reload this. The nice thing about add-ons that you can just reload them in game and see if they're working properly. So. As you can see, I, I updated it, so now it shows the drop rate as well. I don't really care to show the drop rate, but you might, so. Now, if you wanted to add a new boss, which I actually have a new boss in Zulfurek that I would like to add, you got to do a couple different things. So we got to look for the instances.en.lua, search for Zulfurek. And then depending on where you want this new boss to go, you'll just go ahead and put a new entry. So I'm just going to put this here. doesn't really matter where you put it. So the name of the new boss that I actually have is Krasjala. Obviously, you want to make sure that there are no spaces in between the words. I would just follow the naming conventions just to make it easier. Go ahead and hit save. Again, this is the instances.en.lua or whatever localization you're using. Then you're going to look for the do drop down Lua. And we're going to go ahead and copy another row again. We're going to keep it in the same order that we had before. So Dr. Zumra is where our custom boss goes. I should probably get rid of this quote here too, sorry. It can cause issues later on. So we put in the boss table name from the other Lua script, and then we put in the actual name of the boss. We actually have a couple options here, which is uh, 
you can do it in the same structure as some of these other ones, or you could just use this structure. Whatever it is that you decide to do, just make sure that you're following a consistent structure. Next thing we're going to do is we're looking at looptables.en.lua. We're looking for Zolfarak again. And we're just going to go ahead and copy one of these. We're just inputting information again. So this is the name of the table from the first, this, this uh, Lua script over here, right? We're going to put in the boss name, and we're just going to leave this as Atlas Loot Original WoW. Hit save. Then we have to create a new table for this boss. So we just go into OriginalWoww.Lua, which is the one that we worked with before. Now we're just looking for ZF. It doesn't really matter what order you do here. Just copy an existing table. We're going to go ahead and rename it as well. So again, we're taking that name from the original Lua script that we had. ZF, Krasjala, the ancient, right? All right. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in here. Sorry, right here, I mean. And then we're going to hit save. And I just want to test it out to make sure it's working. So we're going to go back into the game, hit reload. It looks like we actually have a blank entry, so I'll show you how to fix that. But at least it's showing up, so let's talk about how to fix that. So there is another table somewhere, don't know where, but... We're just going to go ahead and directly add the name. So we have this structure. This is the, the more basic structure that doesn't pull from Babel Boss, wherever that is. And just go ahead and pause the video if you need to. But yeah, so go ahead and do this. The name of our boss directly. Ahead and hit save. See what happens in game. Barak still blank, but at least this one has a name on it now. So we just have to fix the table at the moment. So go back to this do drop down dot lua. All we're going to do is we're going to follow this structure here. This just becomes quotes. And we leave it that way, and we're going to see if it shows up. And there you go, it shows up in the list. Now you can basically just add on to the original WoW Lua. And I'll just show you how that looks like. So I have some items for this boss. And I've saved the information here. So this is a neck P. Uh, this is a necklace. So I'm just putting in the item ID number. Ravasar tooth necklace, I think. Can't remember what I actually named it, but we'll find out in two seconds. This is like, this is again just the naming convention. So here I'm just going to rewrite as neck. Leave that blank. And I'm actually going to delete these two because I don't care about the drop rate. Hit save. Go back into the game. Reload. Open up Atlas Loot, check, and realize that I accidentally put it in the wrong table, which is totally fine. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Sorry, I totally did that in the wrong spot. So here...
So now it should be good. Now let's go ahead and hit reload. Up Atlas loot. Go back to Zwolferic. There you go. The Revisar Tooth Necklace is listed. It's actually called the Patriarch Tooth Necklace. I'm just going to go ahead and rename that. And if you're wondering why this is showing up as a question mark, it's because you need to update your item DBC. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quickly. As you can see, the necklace went ahead and updated the visual. So again, just rewatch the video as much as you need to. I know I went through a lot of information rather quickly, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to do. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you on the other side of Azeroth.